usually in the fall, <laughs> we are constantly looking up at the leaves to appreciate the changing of the colors. But in Ann Arbor, people are looking down at the ground to see beautiful artwork that's right under their feet. That's right. Our Kyla Peoples and Meredith Bruckner from AllAboutAnnArbor.com went on a tour with the street artist who's creating small masterpieces all around town. This is David Zinn. He's a local artist who creates eclectic chalk drawings all over Ann Arbor. Zinn has been bringing his exotic creations to life for many years. I have been drawing, well, since the same age when the rest of us were drawing, <laughs> which is shortly after I was old enough to pick up a crayon and before I knew how to write. But. It was when he was working as a freelance commercial artist when he got the itch to change his canvas. So the honest truth is that I started doing this just as a shameless excuse to be outside on a nice day. So he gathered his tools and started drawing on the sidewalks and walls of Ann Arbor. Admittedly, his art style is kinda out there, and the name for it is even more out of this world. Uh, ephemeral Paradolic Anamorphosis, <laughs> which is not very helpful, but sounds really cool. Which means they're almost like a 3D drawing. I am awfully fond of flying pigs. <laughs> I don't know how it started. I think it was a kid who suggested the first time that I draw a flying pig. Completing a drawing could take 30 minutes to a couple of hours. And David didn't mind Meredith and I helping him out a bit. The next time you are walking along the streets of Ann Arbor, take a look down on the ground. You might be greeted by a 3D flying pig or a colorful space monster coming out from another dimension. Most of us, including me, end up not making art is we're too worried about what people will think about it. And so chalk art, since it's made with children's toys, all those issues just melt away, and you're allowed to just enjoy the experience of drawing something for the joy of it. Cool. cool. Jinx. Jinx. <laughs> David Zinn is here with us now to show us how we can create our own art, something people young and old alike can enjoy. Good morning. Right, Good morning. Welcome. Nice to see you. Thanks for the invitation. The, so your artwork is just beyond cool. I was giving you compliments before we got the segment started. But let's get started on a couple of, you know, drawings ourselves. Mm -hmm. What materials are we going to be using? All right. Well, this is the chalk box. This is basically my whole art studio in a form that I can carry around town. Nice. Wow. It's got all the stuff you might need to draw on the sidewalk. A lot of these are just regular old Crayolas, like what? you find anywhere. Mm -hmm. They work just fine. Plus some of the little tiny things for corners just come in more interesting colors. Right. And uh, vine charcoal, which is really just a burn stick. Cool, let's do it. So, let's see. I'm a one doodler. For you. Thank you. And one for you a in burn here somewhere. Stick. Yeah, you yep. don't have to show me up. Yeah, he's a really go. good Thank you. Yeah, I've drawer. heard a lot about yeah. his, uh, his caricature yeah. skills, so. My expectations are now high. <laughs> so, I, 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 okay, so what do we do? Now, this is the problem people run into, most people, probably not you. They see a blank piece of paper and mm -hmm. it's just too much freedom. There's too many, too many things you might make a bad choice okay. and wish you'd drawn something else. Okay. So for anyone who has trouble with that, which is most of us, including me, where it's just like, oh, I'm making what do art. I do? What do I do? Right. Right. This is what my brother and I used to do when we were kids. It's how my father kept us quiet in okay. restaurants. It's called the doodle battle. Okay. First thing you do with the doodle battle is you destroy this blank piece of paper so it's not blank anymore. Okay. With a completely random scribble that is not supposed to mean anything at all. Let's okay? do it. Just ran it just takes a second or two. Just scribble, scribble, and you're done. Now, here's the battle part of the doodle battle. Mm -hmm. This is not my piece of paper. This is your piece of paper. Oh. Ah. This is not your <laughs> piece of paper. This is his piece of paper. Oh. Nice. This is my piece of paper. Sweet. Because the supposed battle was, oh. I bet you can't make something out of this. I totally can make but something. But the truth is, it's easier for your brain to see pictures in a scribble than in a blank piece of paper. And the sidewalk works exactly the same way. Cool. Now, I don't have much time, so we better get All right, started. Let's do it. All right. Let's All right, I already here. see I'm knocked over what this is going to be. Let's see. I've never seen this doodle before in my life. Got an eye here, maybe. Something kind of lizardy. Yep, okay. 
Wow, this is a good scribble. It's the scribble of an experienced professional. And some wings, <laughs> maybe. So parrot legs. Yeah, I got that part down. Now what's the other half supposed to be? Uh, I find it's usually best to talk to your drawing until it starts to talk back. Hello, beautiful That's flower. That's how you know it's working. You look very <laughs> lovely today. I mean, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna create double Ooh. petals on this bad boy. Tell us about your book. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it seemed important to remedy a problem that developed. Uh, I only started drawing on the sidewalk, as I think was mentioned earlier, as an excuse to be outside away from the computer mm -hmm. on a nice day in Michigan. Because in Michigan, those nice days, they don't happen every day. They so don't. you really need to grab them while you can. Um, but then once I started sharing the pictures on the internet and they got really popular, I realized I was driving other people to spend more time at their computer with the stuff that I created as a reason to be away from the computer. Mm -hmm. So the book, the uh, first one was crowdfunded, and this one just came out a few weeks ago, are all the photos of all the pictures that I've drawn. The, so the pictures cool. are gone, they washed away in the rain. That's so cool. But this lets people actually hang on to the results. I love the it. Results. I love it. So can I'm I get back. some colored chalk, please? Yes, you can. So I'm trying to take it all to right, the next level. This is what I like to level. hear. Next yeah. level. All right, let's all right. do this. Take whatever you need. Thank you. It's a nice thing about chalk. It is very easy to find. It's very easy to come by. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Okay. And that's the other thing that I find helps free people up who are nervous about making art because okay. you're not wasting any fancy art supplies. You're just using this chalk. This is good stuff. It's, it's children's chalk. It's All very right. easy to come. I love you this beat. I'm, I'm good. I've got a, a, a <laughs> snake a wearing a bow tie snake. and a toupee. Okay. I've got a flower. I like the toupee. That's a very nice choice. That was coming. This is abstract. Very Georgia O'Keeffe yes, inspired very, very ish. Nice. All right. Very nice. All right, so we'll let you keep working. You have uh, ooh, uh, a lizard got, playing uh, the piano. Yeah, a lizard bird playing the piano, I believe. This I is love it. Nice. What you gave me. Very so. cool. I like how you took, turned my X into a, a point oh, yeah. there. So yeah, yeah, little, I yeah, like what you yeah, did the there. The X was challenging, but yeah. I found a way through it. So Very cool. I highly recommend this activity for <laughs> young and old. So fun. Yeah, a doodle battle. Along with yeah. David Street Art, there are all kinds of cool things to check out in A Squared, also known as Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor. To get the latest on what's happening there, visit the website allaboutannarbor.com. Which is made possible by our friends at Wallside Windows and Concordia University. David, thank you so much. I'm going to, I want to finish this. Yeah, I'm going to draw something else while you're, you're doing cool. this stuff.